We get a lot of questions within uh, our first aid training courses on what's about violent crime. On the first aid courses, all they're doing is they're talking about standard injuries. But what about gunshot wounds? What about knife crime? Now, what we're doing in this little video is we're going to look at these and just break them down to what you're actually dealing with. Let's start with knife crime. Knife crime reported cases of this are increasing, so it is something that possibly a first aider, maybe not someone in the workplace particularly, but someone when they're out on a Saturday night or something could come across. Now knife crime, gunshots, any of these things, we need to make sure we stay safe. So let's assume that the scene is safe, the person has gone. Something like a knife going into the body, Although this can be very, very scary and you think it's, uh, there might be a lot of anger, there might be alcohol involved or all sorts of other people getting hysterical around you, what we're really dealing with here is an item going into the body, which is a cut. You can't deal with anything under the surface because you're just a first aider. Even when the paramedics get there, they're not going to be able to deal with the injury inside the body. That's up to the hospital to deal with. So from a first aid perspective, if someone has been stabbed by a knife, you can only deal with what you can see. So you'll see a cut and you need to stop bleeding. So we can apply direct pressure. If it's something on one of these limbs, an arm or a leg, you can raise it above the heart to reduce the blood flow. You might even use uh, indirect pressure, using pressure points. But really, we're only looking at that cut. But we need to remember our training from the beginning. So if someone has got a bad cut, you're going to suspect shock. So we need to treat them for shock, because this person may well have some very severe internal injuries. So within this stab wound, for example, we need to make sure we stop all the blood coming out, but we need to treat them for shock. And we're only trying to buy this person a little bit more time before the emergency services arrive. Now, with gunshots, this can be really scary. You think if someone's been shot, you're going to be very, very panicky. But not only you, the patient's going to be very, very scared. So break it down to normal first aid. An item of, of metal has gone into the body, so you'll have an entry wound. This entry wound might be quite small, so we need to cover that up with some kind of dressing uh, or makeshift dressing if we haven't got a first aid kit with us. And that's number one concern. The second concern could be the exit wound. If a bullet goes into the body and stays in the body, it's going to do damage inside. But again, as first aiders, we can't treat in here. A surgeon's going to have to deal with that. We can only treat the entry. Exit wounds can be a little bit more severe because the bullet's gone in and when it comes out, there's typically a much larger area. So again, we need to pack that area with dressings. We need to hold it. So if it's gone through the body here, we might need to put a dressing on the front and the back. If it's been shot in the shoulder, again, it might be a hole in here and out. Now, different guns will cause different problems. Something like a shotgun, it might be that the person's just peppered with lots of little holes. It may be they've been shot with a shotgun from a distance. And if this is the case, the injuries might be quite um, basic. You might even see the shot just under the skin. A shotgun very close can be very horrific because it can literally just remove whole areas of skin. So with your, when you're looking at a gunshot wound, you need to know what they've been shot by to a certain extent, you know, really a gun or a shotgun, and you'll need to treat what you see. Try not to be too scared about the actual cause of the injury, but treat what you see and make sure you're dealing with it all. Gunshot bullets in here may have ricocheted in the body and come out in a different part on the back. So to sort of summarise, with violent crime, violent crime is something that we may well as first aiders have to deal with. But the important thing is to try and stay calm as you can, relax, and just look at what the injury is. You know there's something going on inside, you know you can't treat it, you need to stop the bleeding, you need to treat them for shock, but more important than all that lot, you need to call the emergency services, tell them exactly what they're dealing with so they can send the right people. And then you need to try and treat the patient. You need to calm them down. And this is really all we can do in violent crime. Finally, violent crime, the person's been hurt, always, at all times, watch your back. Because it may be you're dealing with someone who's been stabbed and then the person who's actually done this has come back for more. And then if you're in the way, you could be put at risk. So don't get yourself in any danger.